What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to set up a SendGrid integration with ClickFunnels for the SMTP settings so you can send your emails out. Now, for those of you that don't know and are thinking, why do we have to set this up when I'm just sending out emails? Everything is set up for me. So if you're using a software like GetResponse or Aweber, those are softwares that have the capability to not only create the emails, but also to send them out. ClickFunnels does not have the capability to also send the emails out by itself. It can only create the emails. So if you're relying on ClickFunnels for your autoresponders and broadcast emails and stuff like that with Actionetics, you do need to integrate it with a third-party software. In this case, we'll be using SendGrid, okay? So the first thing we'll need to do if you want to do that is, of course, create a SendGrid account. They have different options here. The free option is more than enough. It gives you 40,000 emails for the first 30 days and then 100 emails per day forever. This will give you some time to set it up, see how it goes. And then of course, as you get more contacts and as you start sending more emails, you can upgrade. And at that point, the, you know, the $10 a month, sorry, won't cost anything to you because of the amount the massive amount of subscribers you'll be getting, right? So just take it one step at a time. If you're just learning and you want to set it up, just take the free option um, and click try for free, fill in all the details, verify your email, stuff like that. I'm not going to go through that just because it's really common sense. Um, but one thing you should keep in mind is that you can't use an email, you know, a standard email like Gmail or Yahoo, stuff like that. You should use a professional email. So when I buy my domains from namecheap.com, um, I use their private email option. They give me two months for free, which gives me enough time to try it out. So if you want, if you buy a domain from there, try out um, their free email for two months. It'll give you a professional email like, you know, mydomain.com. It'll, you can use an email like uh, Susie at mydomain.com, stuff like that. Okay. So that's the first thing you have to do is set up an account. Once you set up a SendGrid account, this is what your dashboard will roughly look like. So that's the first part, okay? So now what you'll need to do is in your ClickFunnels, click on the top right here and click on SMTP settings. Now I've already created uh, my integration and I, I don't have the Edison suite, the $300 a month plan. I'm just on the regular $97 a month plan. Uh, with this plan, I can only have one integration, which is really more than enough, uh, especially since I'm not even using this, I'm using GetResponse, right? Um, but basically what you'll want to do is click on add SMTP integration. Uh, you'll have that option here. Um, it'll just be a different looking button. Just click on add. Okay. I have it here done for simplicity. So we can just go over and fill in the blanks. So once you click on add, your screen will look something like this. So you will have the title, the from name, the from email, stuff like that. Okay. So for the title, put in whatever makes most sense to you. So if you have different integrations, you know, you can name this maybe SendGrid integration for this domain or whatever it is you want to name it, just SendGrid integration. Okay. That's the title. That's for your reference. The next thing is the from name. So when your contacts will receive an email, this is the name they will receive that email from. So literally whatever you put here, you know, if you put this in, this is the name that will show up. So make sure it's a name you want to use. Okay. Um, from email, this is the actual email that they'll get that your contacts will get the email from. So in this case, my domain here is expertonlinemarketer.com. Um, so my email is Yvonne at expertonlinemarketer.com. Okay. So I have that. Um, and I already have this domain actually set up within ClickFunnels. So that is also something you may have to do. Check out my ClickFunnels playlist um, here up above where I show you how to set up your domain with Cloudflare and ClickFunnels. Okay. If you haven't done that already. Um, next, you'll have to enter SMTP server. You need to enter this, smtp.sendgrid.net. This is the same regardless of what domain you're using or who you are. It's going to be this. You have to enter that. Uh, SMTP port, it will always be 587. Just enter that in exactly as you see. You know, Feel free to pause the video if you have to to just fill in these details in. But so far, so good. Right? Everything makes sense so far. So now for the SMTP user, I deleted these two fields. 
um, just because obviously it's it's uh, personal information. But what you would do here is you would enter your SendGrid username. So whatever the username was that you signed up for SendGrid, you would want to fill that in here. And of course, whatever your SendGrid password was, you want to fill it up here. Okay, self-explanatory, pretty straightforward. So far, so good. Um, SendGrid SMTP domain will always be SendGrid.net. Again, no exceptions, regardless of who you are, what domain you're using, just sendgrid.net. For the domain, here you would select the domain that you have. So in this case, I've already integrated my domain with ClickFunnels. I'm using expertonlinemarketer.com. So that's the domain that I selected because that's the domain from which my email is coming from. Again, if you haven't set up your domain with Cloudflare and ClickFunnels, check out my other video in my ClickFunnels playlist. Unfortunately, it's a pretty... Um, video that, that I created a long time ago, so I can't directly link to it, but it is in the playlist. Just check out my playlist and it will be there 100%. Here you can put in your address. Um, I just put in a random address here. Uh, this really won't show up anywhere. So what will show up is what you have entered here. So in the footer of your messages to people, this is what will show up. So you have the company name, you have their address, you have the zip code, you know, the phone number, put in as much or as little details as you want. Uh, maybe you don't even want to put that in at all. Maybe you just want to have this unsubscribe button here. You can do that. So this P here, that's just in um, HTML coding that stands for paragraph. So this is what will be written down. If you want to center this, you can just say center stuff like that okay so I'll, I'll just leave it there for simplicity but obviously change out whatever you want to hear so whatever your company name is whatever the address is or again if you don't want to just delete it click delete you don't need that if you don't want to now this part you will probably need this is the unsubscribe button okay so this here this um number sign unsub number sign um that is kind of the code which will allow people to click the button and it will allow them to unsubscribe okay so leave that as is um, you can change the message though here so for example here you can say you know click here to unsubscribe okay and you will unsubscribe so that is how you would fill this part in now one more thing you need to do um, all the settings are pretty much done here you do need to um, integrate the webhook with SendGrid and that's what I'll be showing you how to do here so what you will do is copy this whole thing here that you're given or just click this button here to copy go back to your SendGrid account now click on settings click on mail settings right here and go to event notification now for you it will probably say inactive at first okay so you will need to click on so I'm gonna click edit um, so when you when you first click on this is roughly what it will look like obviously without you know these options here okay and you won't have anything here so what you have to do is you have to copy this part here that i showed you okay so see it's the same thing so all you're going to do is you're copy that there you can test integration if you want to but you also have to say uh dropped bounced unsubscribe from and marked as spam and what this will do is this will allow um the emails if, if they if, if the contacts unsubscribe or they drop or they bounce if those emails bounce you will be notified that that will happen otherwise you won't so that is why you have to check mark these options here once you do that it is important that you click check mark right there okay um, I actually forgot the first time so I, I, I was wondering why I didn't get any of these emails uh, but that is why so after you fill in all these details in click on check mark um, and that is it. So you're pretty much good to go. So let's go back to our ClickFunnels account and uh, take a look and see how we can enter the emails there. So um, let me just click Save SMTP Integration here. Okay, so I've clicked Save and now all this data is there and the integration is complete. Okay, and that's why you see something like this. So now if I go back to any of my funnels, uh, say this experimental funnel, and I go to Automation, you will see that now you will have the ability to create these emails you know um, put in whatever message you want to so here for example I have this completed email that sends immediately upon someone signing up you know here's the name again here's the subject um, this is based on your SMTP configuration right so that's why it's important to have it set up so that you have it available here um, you can send it only to subscribers that were active in the in a certain number of days you can 
um, you know, but one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, et cetera. Um, just leave that blank for simplicity's sake. Condition, obviously everyone. Um, and then here's where you would have the message. Now, if you want to create kind of an autoresponder sequence, that's when you would say, you know, this message is uh, the, the, the people will get one day after they sign up or uh, two days after they sign up or three days after they sign up, right? Um, so that's what this delay is. And for example, this message I created comes immediately. This message comes in one hour afterwards. So that is it. Now you've set up, you've integrated ClickFunnels with uh, SendGrid. Now there is one more thing we could do, um, which would help you. Uh, with your deliverability. I'm not going to cover in this video. I don't want to make it too long and kind of off topic. Uh, but what you, one thing you could also do is um, whitelist your domain. And that kind of proves that the domain belongs to you. And that increases the deliverability and removes, um, you know, a little message from the emails that sent, like sent via SendGrid, stuff like that. Uh, just makes your emails look more professional and increases the deliverability. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments down below. It's pretty simple. You follow the steps they give you. You change some CNAME DNS records. But again, I'll cover that really quickly in the next video uh, as we do this with Cloudflare, okay? And that should increase, again, your deliverability. But other than that, that is it, and you're good to go. Um, this is how you integrate uh, SendGrid with ClickFunnels. So if you enjoyed this video, um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, etc., etc. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you thought, if you thought this was useful or not. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.